much you can uh, deliver from a punch to the body. Uh, I'm not going to take a punch from any of these ladies, uh, but Bobby will. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, it'll be like an, an sorry, the camera's over here. Uh, it's going to be an, uh, a, a very kind of a round table dialogue where we're going to show the ladies how we punch. They're going to laugh. Uh, <laughs> and then they're going to give us some tips on, on how to do it best. So, um, so typically in a technical match. Yes. yes. Typically in a technical match. Um, if somebody's attacking you, your back hand's going to be here. Mm -hmm. Boom, right in the center as the same as uh, blocking. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if the guy is coming at you with your front leg, you use your front hand, boom. A little bit less power, but a little bit effective with blocking. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and so you guys know, uh, in Taekwondo today, uh, we electronically score with the feet, uh, but the hands, the judges actually score. So they have the three uh, out of the four have to say yes, kind of like boxing, yeah. uh, have to say yes, that that was a strong or solid punch. So it is very much a show kind of thing as well. Uh, and in a match, maybe 90% of the points are from kicks, and then about 10% from punches. So that's the context, uh, so you guys know. Um, so, when you first see this, <laughs> go ahead, Eva. What? How would you um, ask these ladies for your first tip? <laughs> <laughs> My first tip? No. Well, the thing is, uh, in, in our sport now, because the judges have to see the punch and they give it to you, you have to make it really big and like, very action-y and kind of thing, you know? So it's not like the normal martial art punch that we learn from our hips right here, we just go just like that. It's impossible, like these days, to do it that way. So you have to make it a big show. So when somebody's coming in, sometimes people go like this, big, but then there's no power in that because you're going up and then you're going down. You're not really going through a straight line. You're going through. And some of them are going like this, like swing, because it's a bigger motion as well. Going to the side, showing the referees. You're trying to show them that you, yeah, you did the punch and you did it on purpose, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do we make it effective? Make it look like you're punching the person and also making it powerful. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to ask, gonna ask these guys. So right. we're going to look at my punch right now, okay? You guys can laugh, you guys can do whatever, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, okay, I'm going to be bouncing. Mm -hmm. I'll be over there. All right, Ooh. so what's the first thing you see? Uh, so if we were trying to deliver a powerful punch, maybe we ask you guys, if, you have a, if you're, your hand is in the back mm -hmm. and you do a powerful punch, What's the first thing that you guys kind of see, notice, or would give a tip to a technical player? You guys want to go more? No? Okay. What? Um, first of all... First of all, that was first all wrong. Right. I mean, right? Like, um, power is speed times strength, right? So if you want to be strong and you want to be solid, your feet are like the base, right? Mm. Mm. So I feel like you guys are kicking and then you guys are gonna punch and your feet aren't gonna be as uh, grounded as if you guys are gonna kick. Right. right. So if you're like this and you kick and then you go like this, you have no base. Right. So you're gonna be you're gonna try to be powerful with your arm, but you can't really use your core right. and you can't really use your 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 bottom, right? right. Your, your lower body. So um, actually, when you go like this, you're, you're going to lose everything and you're going to just use your arm. Right. You know, so it's going to be like your bicep or it's going to be your shoulder that's going to hit. It's still right. pretty hard. But it's, yeah. <laughs> but it's never going to be, um, it's, it's never going to be your weight transfer, which in boxing, weight transfer is like the main, it's the same thing in Taekwondo, yeah, right? right? So when you do it, usually you should transfer your whole body into the punch. Okay. So your arms should be straight and locked. Elbows locked, yeah. Right? And when you use, you're going to use your core and you're going to use your whole body in it. So the motion's going to be like this. Interesting. And you're okay. going to push so it. So it's like very tight, very close to your body. Yeah. Um, so if you go like this. Right. And like this, and it's not, actually it's, it's muscle synchronization, right? It's like a pattern that you're going to... Um, develop like auto, like it's an automatic right that you're right. gonna develop while you train like for years and stuff. So the more that you have this synchronization, the more powerful you're gonna be because you're, it's gonna be just one motion. Right. So you're gonna just put everything in it. You know. And I you want to do it? Yeah. So you're gonna fly. Yeah, sure. uh, I mean, oh my God. like I, 
it's, it's just you, you have a lot of bunches too. Like we have the cross, but we have the, the uppercuts and the hook, and it's all the same thing. It all mm -hmm. comes from this, you know. So it's gonna be, and it's gonna be the the, the, the speed and the strength. So as the person, like if the person is really strong and really fast, they're gonna be more powerful. But right. they need the distance too. If I'm here, I'm trying to push. It's gonna be harder for me to push. Right. Right. If I have the right distance. Obviously, it's gonna be easy for me to yeah. turn into it. You know what I mean? I can feel the difference. Yeah. Feel yeah. <laughs> so, okay. so what's okay? That's so, my explanation. Uh, that's this. beautiful. So hey, mom. Yeah. more than 
a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And that's yeah. the thing with when we when we punch, we mostly use it as a strategy because when they're coming at us, we we can't we can only use the lights. But if they're too close, we're either pushing, but we can't push now. We can punch, can block at the same time. Like we use it more as a strategy to get out of that clinch and then score a point. But if you use it as a strategy, you have to use as Sabrina explain it. A weight transfer. Yes. So if you use it as a strategy, you should punch properly with a weight transfer. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, like that, it will be really hard. Yeah. And it's yes, the judges will see it, but it will be more effective for you to make points right after. Like, right. So, so that's so that's a good point. So you know, if you uh, focus on the same, so as a, so you can rewatch the video and watch uh, the ladies punch, uh, and also. Uh, Hear what they said about techniques. So if you punch the way uh, they suggested with, the, with that strength, and then as you as you mentioned, maybe right away, maybe do a kick because then they'd be stunned from that shot. Because you know, the body, we're used to kicks here, right? We're, we're, our body's conditioned for that. But uh, if we were to take a shot from one of these guys with our chest protector, we would we would get a different kind of shot, right? And then that would instantly make us um, second guess ourselves. When you do that, that's an opportunity in the window. To, to hit. Yeah, and it's different to when you're when the the opponent is really tired. Yes. You know, if you can like hit at the right maybe really the right spot and you hit hard, it's gonna slow him down even more. You know, like we like we were doing. Any we were doing. She was just doing something with me right over here. You can show me. Um, she made an interesting point. We don't do a lot of uh, either like the side or uppercuts or anything like that. But you know, when we were talking about it, I was kicking her, and she said we do block with one hand. Yes. But something very effective also. Is yeah. one of this? Boom! Here she <laughs> Like if you're, if you want to slow down your opponent, you can just say I'll take because you're used to see what's coming. So yeah. you say I'll take that kick, right. but in exchange, right. I'll slow her down. Right. So because sometimes, like I'm in a bad position, I'll receive the kick, but you don't know what to do or just block. But right. Block. Do something. Right. Do something that will. But that well, that will do damage to the other one. Right. So the right. punches can be well, used as a damage thing yes. while you're blocking. As a right. defense. As yeah. a defense. And that punch that we're we're doing doing defense. is not a usual punch that we do in Taekwondo. Is that an uppercut that you do? Are you yeah, punching? Yeah, I'm not punching. Let me see how that works. I mean, it does, if, even if I do like your face. Boom. Let's just do that slowly again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. I can't imagine seeing that you bring the organs. Bring the organs into yeah, the throat. That's, that's exactly how you, how you do right. it when you punch. That's the way to think about it. Yeah, yeah. So the opponent will kick you, but will fall to the ground. <laughs> right, right. Or and just will be like, oh, really damage, and <laughs> then you can yeah, damage her yeah. confidence, damage her body, damage her focus, damage everything basically. Yeah, because uh, again, you know, the hands will always be faster than the legs. Um, uh, you know. That's just how the human body works. Mm -hmm. So if you got caught, you know, to what Miriam kind of caught on. So if you got caught off guard, either if you're tired or they're faster than you, uh, a punch is still a good um, way to react and then use that opportunity to damage uh, as opposed to just just take the kick and block, which is fine. Like blocking is fine too, but why not also take that opportunity to slow them down uh, for the match? Yeah, I think the, the straight punch, like, don't go like this, but really, Try to focus to go in straight line. It will be more effective. The other one will be the other. The opponent will back up, and then the judge the will be see. It's because both effective and it shows. Yeah. Yes. Like it's, it's, it's more powerful as well. It's quicker. So mm -hmm. when we went to see you guys, we saw the punches, but for us, it was not if effective. Like we would not give a point. Yes, they they see the punch, but like they don't they don't put a point for that because. Right. For them, it was just yeah. I don't think because recently in our sport, I don't think they respect the punch as much as it we used to before. Right. right. Because now it's all based on point system. But now that we have to punch hard and show all the referees that we we scored a point, we have to do it a certain way now. So yeah. it really changed that kind of mindset about the punch, about how we're doing it now. It's not even like a martial arts kind of punch either. Yeah, I think so. I think we. The athletes got lazy. I, I genuinely think yeah. that we got lazy, and, and that's a huge opportunity for people who will take the time to take the lessons that you guys have been here and then put that into their game because that will it will really change the flow of a match. If you are the guy or girl that when people face, oh, crap, I 
I know they got a good product, right? I just like I, I, I don't I don't like that. You know, they're it's it's gonna hurt. Uh, Lauren Williams, um, she got her uh, from Great Britain. Punch. Um, great great punch. Um, she does it very very strong. And um, I know the girls who fight her uh, don't like that. Uh, but again, she's very rare. She is one of the few like that can that can do quite well. So if you can put that into your into your um, toolbox, then again, it just makes you uh, a more stronger, and lower level fighter as well. So first point, learn to punch properly with the weight transfer, <laughs> and <laughs> then try to incorporate it at, as your taekwondo training. And yeah. Because it won't, it won't, and like Sabrina says, it won't, you won't be as stable as we are mm -hmm. boxers, yeah. but right. I think you can do so. I think just all those tips that helped us remind uh, ourselves how important the punch actually is, mm -hmm. you know, because right now everything's based on showing the judges. Yeah, um, and, and we forgot just, about yeah. the, the foundations, we really do, and yeah, uh, yeah of technique, and, I, and I'm not joking, about 95% of the punches that are thrown at world level is like when you have to make fun of this, yeah, because it, like it's, it's silly, like right, it's not it's a proper like, I think it's silly too, it's yeah, very, very silly. Yeah. So, um, so now that you got some of uh, these, these very simple tips, uh, but very effective, uh, if you want to see your free powers progressing, uh, obviously use the vest, um, turn it on, and then see, um, based on the different tips that, the, that these pros gave us, that if it's improving or not, right? So you can use the vest for that, and then um, whatever, because when you're learning something new, right, you're like, you know, if I do it right, but if the power transfer was good, then the vest will tell you that, and then you can continue to get that instant feedback, and then uh, just, continue repeating that, because uh, repetition, as we all know, um, when done properly with the right technique is how you're going to have an awesome morning. What are you so excited I'm just so excited because I am ready for the fun stuff. I am ready to, to see how hard they can punch. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to grab my cell phone because it is in the other room, so we can actually use the live <laughs> motion. Uh, yeah, or we can just do actually the power bar here. Yeah, just with the lights. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, we can, uh, if you want to just kind of do very quick, is it better every time? Um, you can just put it on hit meter game 10 and just use the lights as the basic um, uh, kind of feedback. Uh, if you want to get much more granular analysis, then connect the app, that'll tell you all the raw data. So for, for today's audience, I will turn it around. Which way that's reversed. No, it's okay, I think we'll do this way. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let me see. I'm gonna kind of go this level. I'm gonna try six. six. Okay. Um, I have no idea. We we tuned this thing obviously for for kicks. Uh, <laughs> not pro bro boxers. So let's see what happens. Um, I was hoping that because <laughs> I saw how you flew. Um, <laughs> and another thing that we should mention. Yes. Uh, we have gloves and hand wraps to protect our hands mm. and our so wrists. And our wrists. Yeah. Right. Because since our arms are just used for a weight, like as a tool as a weight transfer. Right. Um, without wraps, without or gauze or gloves, we don't hit this. Thing. We you don't, don't hit, hit the same. You don't hit I mean, it's it's more like we have to be careful. Yeah. Right. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So. Whatever that, whatever it's eighty percent or sixty percent, do that. So we know what they're saying is they can punch harder. Is what they're trying to say. Um, yeah, that's what they're trying to say. Punch harder. Oh, and I would say something about the tips to be like power, more powerful. Mm -hmm. Like to really like the hand has to be closed, like really. Tough. Okay, so let's go to the camera show. It just like, has to be like just, like, just really sometimes tight. maybe you got um, maybe you guys don't like a little open hand or mm -hmm. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. This is gonna make it like way different, way stronger. So and every time we can go up and just curl a little bit the wrist mm -hmm. with the with the fist really tight, it's gonna be something else. Finger okay. inside, yeah, never open. Never yes, inside. yes, we do. Know, we do know that. We do teach that one in oh, in, uh, in Taekwondo yeah. 101. I also think punching helps too. I mean, like like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> helps. Yeah, yeah, get have strong arms also have, yeah for sure. Okay, so yeah, so no need on the full wraps and, and your wrist protection, that's fine. Um, who wants to go first? You go ahead, I'm gonna warm up. <laughs> <laughs> all, we want, all we want to see is just you punch it as you just wanna see. Like a yeah. three punches? Just a three oh, back hand, yeah, a back hand. Yeah, try it, like, do it. Let's say you do three punches. So. No, just one, just one solid punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah one solid punch, then see.
Okay, okay. What does that mean? So we got really fast. Yeah, three greens. So 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 the way this works is uh, the more lights show up, the harder uh, okay. the punch. Okay. Um, so this is a level, <laughs> this is a level six, right? So we can change level based on uh, how much you're lighting up or not. Okay. Right? So if you mind holding it, just hold, hold the light. I'm just gonna kick it, yeah, because the kick will be different. Um, so level like six, yeah, level six is probably not good for punches. I'm gonna change it to. What does oh, level, what's, what's the difference with level 6? Oh, they're just levels. So, so if you have it on level 1, for example, if you hit it just a little bit, more lights will go oh, okay, yeah. If you have it on level 10, and you hit it a little bit, it won't even light up. Right? So it's a sensitivity. Sensitivity, yeah. yeah. Okay, so my kind of hard-ish kick uh, was kind of halfway. So let's compare. I think it's nothing like So that was about um, half of my kick, yeah. which is very interesting, right? So um, pretty strong. So that was level four. So you just saw uh, a national team member punch. Um, on level four, she can get it to first yellow. So that's uh, maybe a target for you guys. If you guys can punch that hard, then you, better, you can at least match her level. Anyone else want to help you? Oh wait, can we do uh, uppercuts or anything? Yeah, sure, sure. Ooh. Yeah. So that was as hard as my kick. <laughs> that was very good. So you can see, very powerful techniques. Um, and the different, again, the punch is pointed, right? So the power goes into... Uh, it's like this, you know? Right, but... Again, I think with different same punches point. also, there's different powers uh, that are set with them. Right, because right. of different techniques that we do. Yeah, yeah. and so um, if you think of, 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 of something pointy, right? If something pointy goes against your body, that's going to hurt a lot more than if it's something blunt, right? So when we kick, it's more surface area, right? So it's transferred for more, but the punch is just a, it's just a point thing, right? So if you have that extra power and you can drive into a specific spot, it's going to hurt a lot. But it was the same motion, so the same motion that you use for your kick, she uses for a punch, it can, del it can deliver the same amount of power. Yeah, yeah. So it's almost, it's, a, it's as effective. Yeah. Our punches are as effective as, you, as your kick. Yeah, yeah. In Absolutely. the same motion. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I was really, I really wanted to see how hard you guys could uh, punch. Um, so we got some... Do you want to damage him with a liver shot? Your hands if you're going to practice your punching. 
Okay. Yeah, because yeah. even just punching that butt hand rest, I can feel it like resonate in my okay. hand. It makes a huge difference. Yes. Okay. Especially if you're just practicing. You're not going to be as geared towards yourself too. Yeah. You're going to be able okay. to go a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.